dumb AI can be dangerous. So if dumb AI is empowered to control things like the electrical grid and it makes a bad decision, that's a risk right? If you put a bad driverless car system, you know, a million cars, a lot of people would die, right? The main thing that has saved a lot of people from dying in driverless cars is there aren't that many of them. And so, you know, even though they're not actually super safe at the moment, you know, restrict where we use them and so forth, we don't put them in situations where they wouldn't be very bright. Super smart AI could, you know, maybe lock us all in cages if it wanted to. I mean, we have to talk about the likelihood of it wanting to, but there are definitely worries there and we need to take them seriously. And then you have things that are in between. So, for example, the vir virology stuff is AI that's not generally all that smart, but it, it can do certain things. And in the hands of bad actors, it can do those things. And I think it is true either now or will be soon enough that these tools can be used to help bad actors create viruses that cause problems. And so I think that's a legitimate worry, even if we don't get to AGI. So we have dumb, a dumb AI right now as a problem. Smarter AI, even if it's not AGI, can cause a different set of problems. And, you know, if we ever got to super intelligence, that might open a different can of worms. I mean, you can think like, you know, human beings of different degrees of brightness and with different skills, if they choose to do bad things, can, you know, cause different kinds of harm.